Johnny Baker. These are my river confessions. I don't know if it's the fact I'm getting older, but I've got to question the good Lord over some things. Why is it that of all the men I've admired in my life, Kid Rock, David Coverdales, Dr. Oz, why now, Lord? Why now do you put me in a position to where I have a man crush on Michelle Obama? Especially this late in the stage. We'll never know why I feel this way. I've gone to the deepest, darkest depths to think how it's come. Is it because of her softer features? Or is it because she's got big shoulders like Kevin McHale or an ass like Rick Mahorn? Is it because she's a woman but she's got the balls to wear her bump it below the belt? We'll never know. This ain't obvious like Bruce and Caitlin's. Now, it's not like she's gonna say goodbye, it's been a good eight years, uh, see you later, wearing a romper. We'll never be able to tell. It's not like I can go to the press conference like the Cubs in the dugout and start bumping cups with her. I swear to God. Like two battering rams fighting for breeders' rights. There's just something about her, mysterious, like her smile is different. She's like that picture on the Cubs, John Lackey. They both got too many teeth in their mouth. They both look like the piranha took the hula popper and didn't realize there's a treble hook on the business end. I swear to God. Like Bruce and Caitlin, that's different, okay? Everybody knows that she's got a pen tucked in. Nobody wants that hand grenade going off. She ain't a woman yet. Michelle has at least transformed. <laughs> Caitlin's different. You ever try to microwave a tombstone pizza? On the instructions, it says you can. You know? And even when the bell rings and it's supposedly done, it still comes out like a flimsy, hot beach towel that's got way too much moisture in it. Sure, it's done, but ain't nobody gonna eat it. That's Caitlin's. I'll say it just like this. I'll quote the great Dan Fogelbergs from that tape, Against the Wind. I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. Against the winds, still running down on Main Street. You know times are bad when you go to a Goodwill and see that they accept game-worn underwear. It's just gross. Not to mention they're even sewed out. Thanks a lot, Obama.